Running a family business can be extra challenging since tradition has to be balanced with current market demands. A number of local firms have managed to do just that. Being in the textile industry for many years, Pavita Singh of Euromoda Group of Companies has seen the company grow from a small wholesale business to importers and retailers of fine fabrics. He says the growth can be put down to maximizing knowledge of previous and current trends and anticipating consumer demands. He says contrary to public expectation, the company manages to weather the storm in times of economic crisis. I think it has turned around on our side with uh, our case, we, we have actually uh, with our bulk purchase or import of uh, wholesale, you know, when we do, we, 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 we I mean, with our, our bigger network of outlets now, we have a bigger uh, buying power and uh, what we, we see is that, that with this buying power, we have an advantage on the prices. So when, I think the, the, the cost is also shared with some of our suppliers. Our suppliers also understand that they cannot uh, throw the, the increase of price, well it's a global issue. We import from several countries, in the world, many countries in the world. They cannot just, uh, they absorb a certain amount of this uh, increase. So, and with our bulk purchase, our wholesale purchase, we do not give it down to the customers, we absorb it. So in that way, uh, we feel that, you know, I think our, we, our country, we are very lucky in that sense, our customers are very lucky. We, there's no increase of price in our business, in our organisation. Kawita says the company places a lot of importance on branding and branded their products. He says when the company first went into retailing, the firm chose Gulatis as its brand. Products such as printed silk was marketed under the Gulatis brand and price made affordable for customers to buy such materials. He says in keeping up with times, the company have developed additional brands. One of the biggest challenges to make sure that the product range was bigger. And to grow this range, we have to make sure that we cater for the local taste. Looking at the situation today, we see that you know a lot of customers also want to get something cheaper at value for their money. So we make sure that we, we bring that in for their value of their money. And I think customers love that. They feel very happy that we are bringing in the correct price the correct item, despite catering for the for the up market, the middle market is getting excited about things. They feel very happy about it. Provider says to stay ahead, the company strives towards improving services and productivity. He says it will be pointless to invest so much when the clientele is unhappy and inefficiency runs the company down. These factors are shared by West Sports Malaysia Sandram Bahad's Executive Director Ruben Gana Lingam. He says running a port calls for large investments and in these times of high fuel and material costs, the company is constantly on the lookout for alternative sources. He says this is the major challenge faced by the company. The whole industry is definitely affected by, by this. But um, there's definitely price pressures for us to you know, try and cut costs other ways and try and increase our revenues to, to make sure we, we, don't, you know, we, we can still maintain the level of positivity we want. We are trying to cut our costs by uh, looking at alternative sources of energy. Uh, energy being the main, one of the components we can control, we are trying to look at you know, electrification of some of our equipment and also maybe possibly switching to gas for some of our equipment as well. Uh, we're also trying to become a green port. So these um, uh, things we're doing, or these um, strategies we're, we're pursuing, also reinforces the green strategy. Ruben says it is easier to adapt to changes as the company's culture is to continually look for improvement and innovations. As such, he says the company is setting up a user-friendly portal for its customers and the enterprise resource planning system. Ruben is optimistic of the company's future growth. He says as the world is not fully containerized, there is a lot of potential for the company to expand not just regionally but worldwide. There's a lot of not just increase in world trade that's happening, there's also an increase in containerization. There's more people using containers than using bulk suits. So, 
on that on that perspective, the growth rate is always going to be. We feel for the next at least five to ten years, it's going to be there. Both Ruben and Pawita agree their parents' guidance and advice has helped steer them in the right direction. We don't believe in legacies. We don't believe that you have to do anything any particular way. We believe in constantly updating ourselves, constantly innovating. So that 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 framework has always been always been there from the beginning. So it makes it easier when you want to come in and, and do things because you know any any as long as you can see a way of improving something, we we go ahead and, and try and improve it. And and there's no like oh that's the way we used to do it. So it appears that when the new generation works with the older one, consultation and the exchange of views coupled with positive outlook can lead to good things for a company. Rachel Tham, The Star Malaysia.